purpose is always idealized, right? Like, as I said before, I imagine a world in which, right? I'm, I know I'm not gonna get there. Like when Martin Luther King said, I have a dream, like one day little black children will hold hands on the playground with little white children, right? Like all of these things, they're all strivings. And the, the, the milestones that we pass make us feel like we're making progress. And that's why metrics are really important and milestones are really important. And the, the most important thing is context. There's nothing wrong with the quarterly numbers or annual numbers. The only question I would ask is, to what end? To what end? Like, you know, I, I was talking to a young entrepreneur last night, and she's looking for investment. And one of her potential investors said, um, how long is it going to take you to hit $100 million revenues? And I said, don't take that person's investment. Show me one article, one. I just need one. Show me one article in HBR, one study, I don't care, that demonstrates that hyper growth or high speed growth is good, for, is good for the company on any level. The answer is there are none. The pressure comes from that person trying to achieve their financial goals. So they put pressure on you to make your short term goals, right? And so, um, and so there's nothing wrong with goals as long as we understand the context and the purpose of that goal, right? Um, I like to think of money like fuel, right? And a car is the company, and the purpose is the destination, right? And if money is fuel, it makes the car go. You absolutely have to have money to make the company go. You have to have, you have to, there is no dreaming big if you have no fuel. You can have the most beautiful car in the world, and yet if you've got no fuel, it's pointless. But we don't own a car to buy fuel, right? We don't own, we don't have companies simply for the money. Right? It's the destination. You want to be able to go somewhere. And the, and the passengers are the employees. And they're excited, not about the fuel in the car. How much fuel do we have? No one gets excited by that. We get excited where we're going. We're going to Alaska. Are we near? And, it's, and, the, and that's the analogy. And when there's a roadblock, if you're only driven by, by uh, the metrics, then the way we think about money, the way we think about corporate goals is the same way we think about our goal is to drive 200 miles a day. Our goal is to make X amount of money, right? That's how we think about it. Well, what happens if you drive 150 miles? Is that a problem? What happens if there's a roadblock? Do you know what to do? You start freaking out and panicking because you're gonna miss your numbers. Where purpose-driven companies that know their destinations in the idealized state, they take detours. And to the outside world, it looks like you're going sideways or slowly, but you know you're just going around. And that's how companies actually look. You know, it's circuitous and messy. And purpose helps us keep focused on the very far distant future. So we know we're going in the right vector, even if somebody can't tell we're going in the right direction. And so people have to understand the purpose of the goals you're setting and how they're contributing to something. And start talking, like we and our PL, I don't have the word profit on my PL, it doesn't exist. On my PL, it says freedom. I damn well want more freedom this month than I had last month, right? Freedom to say no to things I don't want to do, freedom to give it away, freedom to take care of my people. I want freedom because profit means nothing. So I'm trying to contextualize all of these words that have no inherent, inherent magic to them. So yeah, think of money like fuel and fuel drives your purpose. Be purpose driven and talk about the place you're trying to get to and talk about the world that you imagine and you damn well better make a lot of fuel to get there because it's going to be expensive and it's going to take a long time.